Hey, how's it going everybody? Shark here and welcome back to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. In this video today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be 100% the planet of Agent Class. This is an in-depth guide on how to complete all the side missions, all the puzzles, and all the trials on the planet of Agent Class. There will be missions on this planet that will require you to have either story progression or, as well, other missions or puzzles completed in order to be able to unlock and do them. I recommend that you finish the entire story before doing this guide. If there is a specific mission or puzzle that requires something else to be done beforehand, I will have those requirements listed on the screen for you guys at the start of that specific mission. If there's a specific mission that you guys need to do, if you're having trouble with that type of mission or puzzle whatsoever, I do have timestamps in the description below for you guys to just click on and go straight to that part of the video, and you can get your guys themselves your own Kyber Brick or collectible, whatever have you, that that mission or puzzle entails. This video did take me a good amount of time to do, so if you guys enjoyed it, please feel free to hit that like button and consider subscribing. We are on the road to 100 subscribers, and hopefully you will join us for the journey. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on into the guide! <laughs> for the beginning of the Agent Claw Sky, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be jumping on into the side missions. First one being Jedi Text Message. Now, take this route right here. We're going to be going all the way up into the mountain where our big old beautiful resistance hangar is. And that hangar is housing the good old Tantive Four. This gentleman right up over here is going to have a little bit of a mission for us here. He believes he's found the Jedi text to decipher, which is pretty much a big old riddle to him. So, after he talks to us a little bit, we're going to accept the mission. He's going to say, hey, the data pad right there, that's blinking old blue. That's the one you want to look at. So, we're going to head on over to that data pad right there. And it's going to give us this weird looking little puzzle. Doesn't really have to matter too much on the front of that. But, I mean, the guide is going to show you exactly how to complete this. But... Going to talk over to the data log real quick, and it's going to tell you a big old riddle. You don't need to know everything about the riddle. If you guys want to know exactly what the riddle is, walk on over to the left and talk to this droid, because he's actually deciphered that riddle for us. Which pretty much just means there's a bunch of symbols out in space that we can actually go for, and uh, just drive on through, and get a Kyber Brick, and we'll unlock the character of the gentleman we were just talking to. That riddle right there just costs us 5,000 studs. If you guys have that to spare and you guys want to use it, go ahead and use it. But now we're going to head on over to the Millennium Falcon, or whatever ship you guys have locked on in, and we're going to head on over to Agent Claw Space. Now, we're going to fly on up into space, and then when we get there, there's going to be a section where it has a bunch of asteroids that are in the shapes of, I believe, stars, circles, squares, and triangles. So, you want to fly through these in a specific order. If you bought the riddle answer from the droid, it's going to tell you in the upper left right there which order you need to fly into, which is just circle triangle square and star now we're gonna fly on through these and as soon as we're done flying through all four symbols it's gonna give us a beautiful lovely little kyber brick fly on through the star right there the kyber brick is right there just for your taking as soon as you pick collect that kyber brick it's gonna prompt you do you want to head on back down to agent class and go back to that lovely gentleman we were just talking to to complete the mission we're gonna have to so it's gonna prompt you to go there Go ahead and talk to our friend right here. He's going to have that good old yellow symbol with the yellow star in the middle of it. He's going to talk to you and say, oh my god, you're back. You figured out the riddle? That's awesome. Congratulations. Bo, if you need me anytime soon, I'm at your disposal. Mission completed. Jedi text message. And now we are going to unlock ourselves that handsome looking resistance member. And his name is Balmont Kin. Heading on to the next mission. We're going to be doing Snake Oil Sales Droid. Now... Take this pathway right here, we're going to be heading pretty much back up to the hangar, but instead of going to the left side where we spoke to that beautiful, handsome looking resistance member, we're going to head on over to the right side where there's going to be a nice gentleman, kind of alien dude, who is worried about his droid. See, they've been planning pranks on everybody like crazy, just thinking, oh, this is going to be funny, we're going to send him to go and get this uh, snake oil that's really random, No, it, there's no way it exists. Kind of like that entire thing when uh, you ask your girlfriend to go and get blinker fluid and then they don't have it there and she's like... What does blinker fluid even mean? Well, that's snake oil in Star Wars for you guys. We're going to head on over to the beautiful, 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 totally not reskin Tatooine planet of Pasana. And that's pretty much it. We're heading to Pasana and we're going to look around for his droid. His droid is apparently not answering his messages after they send him on that entire wild goose chase to find the oils. So we're going to head on to Pasana, which is the place that he actually went to to try to find the oil. And there's going to be a lovely, lovely alien member on our right side after we load up on in. And they're going to be like, hey, uh, you're wondering where the droid is? Well, see that dancing one over there? That's the droid you're looking for. And it's not like the Stormtroopers. This is the droid that we are looking for. So run on over to AD4M and he's going to talk to you and say that, uh, you know, 
He loved the idea of going to find that snake oil, but he really did find his passion as a dancing droid. You look at him, he's busting a move like crazy right now. But he wasn't, he was able to find all the snake oil. He was able to complete his mission, but then he kind of got sidetracked uh, by doing this stuff. So he left all the vials over in the cave because he got scared from the giant snake monster that was on inside there. I know, kind of a weird thing for a droid to be scared like that. I mean, it, it is a droid. They shouldn't really have too much emotion, but Star Wars obviously gives them emotion, and it's fun to see. We're going to head on over to where we need to with the taxi service, and we're going to head on over to this gentleman right here. He's going to say, oh yeah, he saw those vials of snake oil, but keep an eye out. There's going to be some pirates going after those suckers. So you want to make sure you got your blasters ready. You want to make sure you're quick at the hip, and you're going to run on into that cave straight ahead right there. Just make sure you don't go into the... Uh, little sinking field section I should say head on inside the cave and as soon as you get on inside of there you're gonna be able to find yourself three different crates of snake oil that's gonna house I believe all nine of them but hey look at that pirates are guarding them they put them inside of cages all of our snake oils inside that cage we gotta kill all these guys off or unalive all these guys real quick and pick up the key because one of them at least one of them I should say is going to be dropping that key so put that key into the crate and then go on and grab your snake oil. Take this pathway right here. You got another set of pirates here to take on out. Now, quick little side note. You're going to want to keep on looking around. If you killed all the pirates and you don't see the key dropping down, there's possibly a pirate nearby like that gentleman right there. Pick up the key and pop it on in there. So just, if you feel like you've taken out all of the pirates, just head on back around the area and make sure that they're all gone if you don't have the key just yet. Take this route up here. We're going to go upward a little bit more. And we're going to have a few more pirates to take on on. Or take on on. Take on out. Not take them on. Or we are taking them on, but you know what I mean. Take out the pirates. And then they're going to drop that beautiful, lovely looking key right there. Or not right there. Right there. There we go. Pick up the key. And notice that my buddy Reed is online. Insert that key and grab up the final little glasses of snake oil. As soon as you're done with that, we're going to head on back to Agent Klaus and talk to the gentleman that gave us the mission in the first place. Give him all that snake oil. He's going to be happy about it, but he really wishes that his old droid 80 was here. Oh my god, look who just showed up. Man, that's a great plot armor, isn't it? So, we're going to talk and uh, have a little bit of a therapy session with these guys. Let them know that you shouldn't be pranking each other to head on over to different planets to be able to do meaningless tasks or just pranks. Maybe leave them down to the main areas that you're in right now, but we're making them have a little bit of amends, give them a little bit of a group therapy session, couples counseling if you will. But now we're done giving them the counseling, we're done with the mission, snake oil, uh, whatever the name of the rest of that was, sales droid, that's that's it. And we're going to unlock ourselves ED4M as well as Delso Prin as we have completed the mission. Heading on over to Lightning in a Bottle. We're going to head all the way back to exactly where we just were, but there's a small little command post inside that building, and I believe it's just a little bit of a different route to take from what we did before. Head on through this little tunnel right here, make a right turn right away, and go on up there. You're going to find this ugly slug-looking dude from the Rise of Skywalker. Make sure you have your protocol droid ready and start talking to him. He says that he's found a way to get a really good power source, but the only way to do it is to have a lightning converter uh, mach machine, I guess. Take it on over to Exegol and start collecting all that lightning power. But we don't know what it's going to be used for. He's saying that it's going to be used for everything resistance-wise to make sure that uh, we have enough power to run on through everything. But either way, we're going to head on over to the Sith Citadel in Exegol. We're going to land on down, and as soon as we get there, our good old friend Sluggy Boy is going to be right over there. Grab your protocol droid one more time and start talking to him. He's saying that we have to find a way to get this thing directly impacted by lightning. Which, they're going to be like little red symbols to be able to put that sucker on there. So grab a Force character. I use Darth Vader because, I mean, who wouldn't use Darth Vader? As soon as you start using the Force, this big old square is going to show up. So you have to push it into frame. I don't know why you have to push it into frame. But you just got to do I don't know why they wouldn't just have the square exactly where the machine is. But you see that red circle up there? As soon as it reaches full uh, full circumference, I should say, it's going to blast it with lightning. So you want to make sure that your little lightning rod uh, machinery is on top of that circle before that red circle becomes completely filled up. You gotta do that three times, and as soon as you're done, go and talk to our sluggy boy Claude real quick. He's gonna say, great job, we did it. Let's head on over back to Agent Klaus and use this for what it's meant to be used for. As soon as he's done talking, we're gonna head back on over to Agent Klaus, and then as soon as we are done there... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Look at that. We've got some pirates coming after us. So, you, got, you just gotta take out any of these pirates in this one little sector right here. Nothing too majorly difficult, but as soon as you're done with these eight pirates, oh no, there's going to be more pirates. 
See how I did there? I, I got you thinking like, oh no, the mission's all done. No, there's pirates to take out. It's really quick and simple. Best thing I can say is try to get those upgrades done for the ships on uh, the core upgrades to make sure you can do a little bit more damage with your blasters on the, you know, on whatever ship you're using. So that way you can take these things out quickly. There were 12 pirates right there that we just took out. So now that we're done with those two waves, we can head back to the resistance cap on Agent Klaus. And we're going to head on back to where Klaus gave us the original um, mission, pretty much. So take this route all the way back on up there. And as soon as we get on over to Klaus, he's going to show us exactly what he was going to be using that power converter for. What was he using the power converter for? Oh, of course, a good old game system. Look at that. You can play Starfighter on here, which you can literally see in this little clip right here as soon as it shows us up. Mission completed, lightning in a bottle, and we're going to unlock Claude for us to purchase later on. But you can literally play Jedi Starfighter, like a really, really dumbed down NES version of it, but you can play the game. I mean, you can't really play it, it's just going to show whatever character you are playing it, but you know, it's fun. Next one we're going to be doing is putting out fires, which is with the mission giver LC24, who's also going to be the thing we unlock as soon as we're done with this. Head on over here, you're going to find out that gonk droids are not only portable electric machines, but they're also good old-fashioned firefighters. So we're going to accept the mission right here. We got three fires to put out all over Agent Kloss, and all over as in three little spots here and there. Now we get to mount and ride this beautiful gonky LC-24. Take this route right here, you're going to go straight ahead as soon as you get him, uh, or be able to mount him. And we're just going to jump on these pads. You literally have to jump, land on it, and then he's going to literally just shoot out whatever water's right there to take out that fire. So we just say to a resistance member who apparently doesn't know the meaning of stop, drop, and roll, and also get the heck out of the thing that's burning you. Take this route right here. We're going to go all the way up the mountain, and then on the left side right here, right by that little uh, rope to slide on down, there's going to be another one of these water panels, and you're going to shoot the water right at the tree. It automatically does it for you, so you don't even have to aim the water, so you should be good there. As soon as you're done with that, jump on back down and right at the landing platform area where you landed in your ship, there's going to be a X-Wing that's on fire. Not really good. So hop on that water pad real quick and blast that X-Wing so that way it stops being on fire and you can have yourselves a good rest of your day. Head on back to LC and then you can finish out the mission, talk to him a little bit, and then you can purchase him as a character. Another gonk in your mission log or another gonk in your entire inventory. Who cares? It's another gonk. Gonk, gonk. And there you have it right there, ladies and gentlemen, LC-24 is in our roster, after we purchase them, of course. Next one is called No Way 2J. We're going to be unlocking R5-2JE on this one. Pretty much, take this route right here, you're going to find RJ right over there, or R5 right on over there. And he's going to be saying, hey, listen, five of my droids aren't coming on into work, I need you to go to their houses and figure out why they're not here. No Way 2J, mission accepted. We're going to be taking this route right here, as soon as this starts up. There we go. We're going to take this route right here, and if you look up in the tree area, a little bit further ahead in the little clip right here, there's going to be a droid that's literally hanging from the tree. So what you want to do is you want to take a blaster hero or a lightsaber hero and just throw the lightsaber or shoot the blaster bolt straight at that little vine right there. It's going to knock the droid down right on top of his little head. Should have been thinking better. Shouldn't be skipping out of work. But he's kind of annoyed because he was just enjoying swinging all day, but now he's got to get to work. Take this route right here. We're going to head on all the way over here. And it looks like there's another uh, one of these sucker little astromech droids that's slacking on the job. He just wants to go fishing. Jump on across the little river right here and break this box. Inside that box is going to be a little fish that that droid has been trying to catch like crazy. So we're just trying to get him on over to work. So put this fish right all over here so we can finish out his entire fishing day. It does take a little bit to push it on in there, but you guys will get it pretty easily. As soon as he's on there, the droid's going to be like, Oh my god, look, a fishy! And now he's got a barrel on his head. Oh, I got one, I got one! Yeah, you did, but, uh, had a little help there, bud. Now that you're done fishing, can you go to work now, please? Thank you very much. Take this route right here, we're going to go all the way on over to this spot, and then there's this one droid that apparently hasn't come into work because he's busy making some Star Wars fan fictions? I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but literally all you have to do is talk to him, the conversation's going to end, then you have to talk to him again, and he's going to tell you an entire thing. Something about a watermelon, explosions, a droid, a crowbar, I don't know. But he's pretty much just trying to rewrite episode 4. It's a really bad fanfic, but after you're done talking to him, he's going to be a part of your group now. Run on all the way over to this spot right here. You're going to find a droid that's just trying to get some rays, get some nice tan because of Agent Class Sun. But uh, again, these guys got to get to work, man. You, you can't have them just sitting on the job 
and not doing anything. So we're going to have to end off his day right here. Pick up that little umbrella and then just literally hover it over him, covering the sun a little bit. He'll jump on off. He's going to be a little PO'd about it. He's not going to be happy with us that we just did that. But now he can just head on over to work and be done with it. Take this route right here. There's apparently a droid that's been playing hide and seek with everybody else. Just trying to be like, you know what? I'm not going into work until somebody finds me. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of dumb. Head on into this little cavern right here. And then the droid's going to be on your left side. He's like, oh, you found me. You found my seeking, secret hiding spot. Well, I guess the tranquility is done here, so he can head on over to work. Now we can head on all the way back to R52JE, and he's going to have all five of the droids we just ran around and gathered up, collected, right on out near him, and he's going to be like, oh, thank you so much. I did not want to do all this work by myself. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the side missions right there. Hopefully you enjoyed those sections, and now we're going to get on into the puzzles after we unlock ourselves R52JE. Starting out the puzzles for Aiden Claus today, ladies and gentlemen, we have gliding in plain sight. Make sure you guys have a scavenger character at the ready. Follow the route that I take right here. I chose Tuscan Raider mainly because you guys know I don't want to use right. Climb on up these rocks right here, and at the very top is going to be a lever. Once you pull that lever, it's going to give you a 10 second countdown. So you want to glide from this spot over here all the way to where that puzzle marker is. Don't worry if you guys fly too high. It's just hit your head on the wall. It's going to land you right down on that little ledge for you to pick up that Kyra brick and complete gliding in plain sight. For the next puzzle, we've got Tantively Optimistic. So lock it on down and follow this pathway right here. You're going to go all the way up the mountain, all the way back to the Tantive, and there's going to be a little bit of a power station where a bunch of cables are just not plugged in. Head on over to this gentleman right here and talk to him. He's going to be talking about how he urgently needs to get some powers untangled before Chewie beats him up. So you want to get all these cables pretty much loaded up and plugged in to the Tantive 4. It looks like you're just trying to charge up the Tantive. I think that's pretty much what he was trying to tell us to do. So put blue to blue, put yellow to yellow, and put orange to orange. To orange. orange to orange. Orange to orange. Very quite simply. Orange one can be a little troublesome. Just make sure you lift it straight up first and then try to get into the plug spot instead of getting a little stuck like I did right there. As soon as that's done, it's going to start powering up the machine and starting to send power to the Tantive. Oh, wait, no. This guy just done bamboozled us. It was all for his fans because apparently it's too warm on edge of He's happy enough. We're not going to tell anybody. He throws us the Kyra brick and we've completed. Tantively optimistic. For the next puzzle, we have got Second Breakfast, because apparently First Breakfast just isn't good enough for these Resistance members. Rebels wouldn't complain this much. Follow this entire pathway all the way on up the mountain. We're going to head on over to the side, right side of the Tanta 4, I should say. And there's going to be a little bit of a grapple spot. You can use a grapple character to make it simply. I wanted to just use the boxes, because I felt like using the boxes. Stack up all three boxes right here. I got two right now, and now we're going to go over to this third one. As soon as Vader's done igniting his lightsaber, he's going to lift that box on up for us. Instead, at the very tip of top. Once you're done with that, just jump on top of all the boxes, and there's going to be a little bit of a ledge spot that you can grab onto that little orange bar. So as soon as you reach that, jump on up, and then keep on jumping up. We're going to head on all the way over to the engines, where there's a bunch of guys sitting down ready for a picnic. Uh, as soon as I can, you know, traverse this thing. It's a little troublesome. Just make sure you're careful with your jumps, and you should be good. Get on over to this guy real quick. He's going to talk to you and say, don't tell anybody uh, that you saw us. Leia never approved a second breakfast, but we are really hungry. We want to do this. So right now what you guys want to do is you're going to want to grab a bounty hunter. I chose Zam Wessel for this one. Pretty much any bounty hunter can take out the gold uh, bars right there. So just shoot both of these. It's going to ignite the engines for them to get that nice roasty, toasty hot dog going and rocking. And then it's going to shoot out a ship key. This ship key is going to be all the way on down the little mountain. So as soon as Zam is done admiring her alien looks and watching this guy jump on around, it's going to complete second breakfast. You can jump on down and grab that key. Uh, obviously, for me, it just auto-collected. But that key right there is going to unlock ourselves the Fortitude ship. Next, what we've got is lifting off. So lock it on down, and we're going to take the route that I show you guys right on here. And as soon as we reach over there, it's going to be a little bit of a lifting pad, but apparently you need some power there, so you got to go and find the pluggable. Take this route that I take right here, it's just going to be like right in the middle of the entire map. This little marker is not going to be there for you, well, not in the middle of the map, behind the waterfall, I should say. You can't jump through the waterfall, by the way. Run on inside the little cave right here and pick up the power cell, and then we're going to take the route all the way back to where we just were to be able to input this into the lift. And then as soon as we plug it on in, the lift's going to go on up, and it's going to give us that good old sweet and juicy cab brick. 
So plug it on in, let that thing lift on up, and the Kyber Brick should just literally just sit there for you and shoot on out and then give it to you, and then you have completed lifting off. Man, I'm good at dubbing this stuff. <laughs> Next, what we got is filtration frustration. Gonna reward ourselves with Kyber Brick. Literally, all you have to do is turn on to the left and walk on to that way. As soon as you reach there, there's gonna be this lady talking about, hey, we gotta fix this stuff. We need some water filtration systems set up for the entire base. Otherwise, we can't drink anything. I don't know why this lady who's doing push-ups can't help out, but apparently it's all us. So, literally, again, same situation. Connect blue to blue. Connect yellow to yellow. Connect red to red. It's pretty basic. There's gonna be a couple of these pipes laying on around, but as you can see right here, as, of course, this is a guide for you guys to see where everything is. Just pick up every single tube, put in this perfect, I guess, kind of setup. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Just put them where they're supposed to be is all I'm trying to get to at this rate. So we got one more yellow one right there, and then the blue one. I have a little bit of trouble looking around here for it, but it's actually on the left side of the water tank that's right in front of us right there. It's hanging up against a tree. Pick that on up. It's just a straight bar. Bring it on over to the last area where there's blue. Plug it on in. As soon as you plug it on in, the filtration system is going to be fixed. That lady is a lot happy that we got it done. And outside of the little tube of water that we were just looking at, is going to shoot out a Kyber Brick. So just go on, pick that little baby on up, and you've completed filtration frustration. For the next one, we got Mighty Vine Climbing. Now, let's lock it on down and follow the pathway on our way to this little side mission that we've got here. Or puzzle, I should say. I don't know why I'm calling it a side mission. Side missions are a whole lot longer than this one. This one is a little difficult, so don't get too annoyed at yourself. I did fail this a couple times, but with the magic of editing, you see me do it on the first try. Run along this wall right here and grab onto that stuff. You want to make sure you guys have a Jedi or a Sith character or some kind of acrobatic character ready. Jump on across these vines, and as soon as you do that, you should be able to unlock a Kyber Berg. Make sure you swing a little bit if, you need to, if you're having a little trouble. Swing a little bit more, and you should be good, but that's how you complete Mighty Vine Climbing. Next one we got is Jungle Disassemble. We're going to lock this one on down and take the route that I show you guys right here. We're going to head all the way on over into a cave where we're going to need to make sure we have a force user as well as a protocol droid. As soon as you reach on into the cave, I don't know why Obi-Wan's taking too long. Come on, Obi-Wan, run a little faster. I got, I got a lot of these videos to make, Obi. You're, you're taking up my time here. Come on now. As soon as you reach on in here, guys, you're going to want to throw your lightsaber at that little boulder right there. As soon as you're done with that... Grab a, uh, uh, blah, 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 not an astromech, a protocol droid, disassemble it, and then take your force user, jump all the way up here because you cannot get C-3PO to be into that little spot at the very bottom. Pick them on up. It can be a little troublesome and a little weird with how the force powers work in this game, but just literally get them onto that little tubing right there or set them on the ledge and then transfer on over to them. He'll go on inside, drop on down, collect that Kyra brick, and you have completed jungle disassemble. For the next puzzle we're doing is Welcome to Agent Class. Gonna make sure you guys have a gliding character, aka a scavenger with the glider at the ready for yourselves. Make this route all the way on up here, and then as soon as you make it all the way across that little board, there's gonna be a little bit of a panel for you guys to fly on off. Grab your scavenger for me as usual, Tuscan Raider. Let's grab the glider on out, and then we're literally just gonna jump, glide, and grab ourselves that big, beautiful, voluptuous blue Kyber Brick. And completed. Welcome to Agent Claus. Next puzzle we got, ladies and gentlemen, is Tropical Smash. Lock it on down and start taking this pathway that I show you right here. It's going to be directly behind you inside that little cave. As soon as you run on inside, you're going to need to make sure you have a scavenger ready with the Buster Breaker at the ready as well. Just uh, clear out some of this uh, foliage that's jumping all over the place on you, all the leaves and stuff. Grab your scavenger. Grab the... Blaster breaker, did I call it? Breaker blaster. And just shoot one shot at it. It's going to open it on up. And as soon as that stuff dissolves or goes away, you're going to be able to pick up that nice, beautiful cover brick and complete Tropical Smash. Next, what we got is the Edge of Agent Kloss. Lock it on down and take this route that I take right here. We're going to be going all the way back up to where we were dealing with that one droid. On the side mission, uh, what was the name of that sucker? That one was, uh, No Way 2J, correct. So we're going to take this pathway right here and all the way back to where we bothered with that one droid that wanted to get some sun bleaching on the skin or whatever. Or get some sun tanning, I should say. I, I don't know, I'm paler than a ghost. But uh, we're going to head on over to the left side here, destroy some foliage, pick up that Kyra Brick, you've completed the Edge of Agent Class, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. 
That's what we got is on the clock in Agent Class. This one's going to be one of those little running missions. So lock it on down and take this pathway here. As I said, there's going to be one of these uh, running missions you guys got to go on through. I take a little bit of a different route. It's a lot quicker in my opinion. But head on up here. There's going to be four buttons for us to run on over. Uh, some of these buttons, I did have to destroy a couple things to get them out of the way, as you see right there. But one button's right there. The other button's right there. This one's a little bit above on the rocks. And the final one is going to be on top of that big old Y-wing right in the middle of uh, our little space right here. Jump on top of that button, and you've got plenty of time to spare, luckily. A minute and minute or 1.7 seconds left, I guess. But as soon as you're done with that, that crate's going to unopen. You're going to jump on over to there, pick up your Kyra Brick, and you will have completed on the clock in Agent Class, ladies and gentlemen. Way to go, Usain Bolt. Way to go. Next puzzle we got right here is Kyber Cargo. I don't know why I had so much of an issue with that one. Lock it on down and take this route right here. It's going to be on that little net that's in the middle of the entire place. So you want to take this little rope right here and drop right on down on top of that net. As soon as you're done with that, grab a bounty hunter character, shoot up this little box, and then boom, there you go. Quick, easy, simple, Kyber Brick for you guys to grab. Bob was so happy about that one, but now you've completed Kyber Cargo. Next one we got is Glow with the Flow. Apparently we're taking some stuff from Naomi in uh, WWE. Lock it on down and take this route right here. This one is a pretty simple one as long as you know what you're doing. So pretty much there's going to be a box in the middle that has a bunch of wires going around. So you want to follow the wires all the way to where they end or where they technically would begin. So the best route that I've found on this one is just go up to the upper right. You'll see Boba going there right now. That's the first one right there in the upper left hand corner. Shoot that and then just follow the white or the blue and black little beams going across the walls. And Or you can literally, like I said, just watch the guide and just shoot these in this correct order. Even though it pretty much gives you the order as soon as you find out which one's the first one to go for. As soon as you shoot all those panels, that crate's going to open on up and you can hop on down, go on and grab it. You've completed Glow with the Flow. For the next puzzle, we got Soggy Silver. This one is also another pretty simple one. Remember that waterfall we were just at? Head on back to the waterfall. You know the one where we got the pluggable to be able to lift up that entire uh, lift. So head on behind the waterfall. And then you guys are going to want to make sure you guys have a grenade character at the ready. I've got good old Gary the Stormtrooper. Throw that grenade over at that crate. Switch on back to the favorite character of your own. Jump on over and grab that Kyber Brick. And you have completed Saga Silver. <laughs> Next, we've got Ray's Secure Stash. I mean, she doesn't deserve the lightsaber. She doesn't deserve anything to begin with ever since she actually tried to take the Skywalker name. She doesn't deserve it. Follow this pathway we're at here, ladies and gents. We're going to go all the way on top. And as soon as we reach the little section that we're going to be at, you're going to notice that the Kyra Brick is pretty much inside of a crate that's locked up. But how do we get it open? We need to grab a data card. So remember where we did all that uh, Mighty Vine fine, uh, Mighty Vine climbing? There's the data card right there. We're going to right, literally right at the start of that one puzzle. Grab that data card, run on over, insert it into that spot, and then that cache is going to open on up for you to steal Ray's Kyber Brick. Because like I said, she don't deserve it like she don't deserve the Skywalker name. Pick it up and you've completed Ray's Secure Stash. For the final puzzle, we've got Tunnel Treasure, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last one to do on this planet. Let's finish this on out, ladies and gents. Let's run on through this pathway right here. We're going to go up the mountain. All the way through this little tunnel right here. And you can see the Kyra Brick laying up the top. You're going to want to grab at least five of these crates. So just literally pick them on up. Set them on down. They may not be around the general area. I'll show you guys pretty much all where the five crates that I grabbed were. I think I may have actually grabbed four. Four or five crates. I don't remember. But pick up all three crates that are in this room right here. Then we're going to head on over back to where the Tantive 4 is. That's going to have another three crates for us to use. But again, we only need one. So yeah, it was only four crates. Grab this crate right here, set it on top, and as soon as you're done with that, grab your character, jump all the way on top, miss your jump, you gotta do it with style points though. Jump on top, and then you can literally just leap up and finish up the final puzzle, Tunnel Treasure. Now on to the trials. For the first trial, we got Secret Agent Man, Secret Agent Man. Follow this pathway right here. Sorry, I, I had a second. I love that song. Follow the pathway right here. It's literally gonna, just going to be a shooting gallery section. There's going to be all these little training remotes flying all over the place that you have to shoot on up. They're going to give you about 100 points per. So you got to be pretty decent with this one. I recommend using Boba Fett uh, or any kind of blaster hero to begin with. 
And, uh, yep, you're gonna be able to get a new ship as well when you completed this, uh, secret Asian man trial. I'm, I'm not gonna stop, guys. I'm not gonna stop. But those are exactly what the ones you're looking for. They will give you studs as well. So this might be a nice little, uh, stud farm for you guys as well. As long as you guys have the, um, what's this called? The, uh, stud collector thing. The, uh... It's like where your character has a tractor beam around the studs. What's the name of that thing? Uh, we're going to look that up real quick as we're uh, shooting these balls out of the sky. What was the name of it? Uh, it was code... Attract studs. There you go. As you can see, it's pretty easy and quick and simple. As soon as you guys get the gold, you're going to complete Secret Agent Man properly. And you guys are going to unlock yourselves the beautiful little ship known as BTA NR2 Y-Wing. For the final trial, we've got Tice's Totally Tough Time Trial. This is going to be one of those entire ones where you have to literally run through an entire obstacle course and not mess up. Luckily with this one, even though it is a very tough trial, you do have a little bit of room for error here and there. But we're going to run on over to Tice real quick and she's going to tell us pretty much that, hey, remember this uh, old training course we had? Well, I've uh, made a little bit more uh, challenging per Leia's orders. So, Leia, thanks a lot. You're making this a lot more difficult. As soon as you're done talking to Tice, head on over to this. You got 150 seconds to beat this to unlock that character. Good old little Ticey girl. So, as soon as it starts on up, these are the little, uh, I guess, blocks that you need to jump into. Take these two little levers right here. Sit on that one and jump on over. Again, like, I'm, I'm showing you guys the entire unedited, uh, easy, quick, beaten run. I think I do mess up, like, once or twice in this run. But it's a pretty simple one. Uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Like I said, you do have a little bit of room for error. That being said, if you do something like drop all the way down to the starting location when you're doing a certain part of the puzzle, or certain part of the trial, I should say, it could mess up a little bit, and you may just barely make it in the nick of time, or you may just barely miss out. So if you guys jump or lose, miss a jump um, and fall all the way down to the main starting area, no big worries just restart the trial it's not too difficult of one so but yeah as you can see i made a little bit of a mistake right there make sure you're taking your time on these swinging vines because you could easily mess these ones up it is not a fun thing to mess these suckers up so jump on across you cannot jump that all you have to do is run towards the wall if you mess that up there is a little bit of a mini jumping puzzle right here that you guys can take so leap on up these little sections again run to and against the wall it'll just automatically start the wall running process then you're going to jump on up and slide on down this little lever right, or this little rope right here. As soon as you're done doing that, you're going to hit that one and jump down this rope right here as well. It's going to glide you all the way down to the bottom. And as soon as you reach that point, you're going to be able to jump on over here, grab this rope, do at least one backswing and then jump. Otherwise, you're not going to make it on top of that net. There's two little blocks right there to grab. Grab those two. Keep on heading on up the mountain. And as soon as you reach up here, there's going to be another little bit of a jumping puzzle. Jump on up these little levers right here. So as you reach the top, there's your next one to grab. You have to do 26 of these. And like I said, 150 seconds is your time limit pretty much. So you have to beat this entire thing in just about, what does that equal out to? Uh, two and a half minutes is how long you have to run through this time trial. So you've got plenty of time as long as you're not making too many major mistakes. As you see, I've got 30 seconds left and I'm only missing three of these little suckers. So... We're going to bounce on these little balls right here, and then as soon as we're done with that, we're going to take this little panel here, and you can jump right across, grab that final one, and get the gold. I beat in 130.1 seconds. So, yeah, really, like I said, not too troublesome. Just make sure you're taking your time. If you really make a big mess up, just try to come back from it. If you can't, it's not that too It's not too difficult. But there you go. You completed Tice's Totally Tough Time Trial, and you've unlocked Warby Trice. Now we're going to head on over to Space and Agent Class where we've got a side mission called Hoth and Bothered. So, as soon as you reach out into Space and Agent Class, there's going to be that little spot right there. Just fly on over to it. Make sure you guys do have a protocol droid in your ship. I threw on the Universal Translator for this one, so it didn't really matter anymore for me. But pretty much it's saying like, hey, uh, we got some stuff to do over at Echo Base. we got to deliver this cargo, so we're going to accept the mission. There are going to be some enemies that we have to take out on the way there not too difficult now i don't know if this is something that has happened to you guys if you guys have done this side mission before or if when you do this if this happens please let me know in the uh, literally the comments below if this has happened to you before but as you can see i sped this up really quick i did not have any markers to shoot these guys at all and they did not tell me like where they were that's why i have this thing at like times 10 speed 
So it's probably going to look a little choppy on your guys' end. Maybe not after I export it. I'm not sure. But how, as I'm looking at it right now, it is early going. I, I've lost like frames by frames by frames. So there's 10 TIE Fighters in this one section right here. As soon as you take them all on out, it'll just clear the zone. And you're going to head on over to the next spot. As soon as you head on over to the next spot, there's going to be a total of, I believe, yep, 12 TIE Fighters for you to take out. And this is where my uh, markers started coming back. So I started actually being able to take these guys out a whole lot faster. Sorry if the speed's a little disorienting to you guys, but I know it, it, it's a long mission and I didn't want to have it be like 10 minutes of the video for you guys. There's 15 TIE Fighters in the third spot right here. You're just going to run on through these guys and this should be the last sector you have to clear out. As soon as you take out all 15 TIE Fighters like I do, uh, so uh, right here, the zone is going to be cleared and it's going to send you on over to Hoth Space. Once you drop on into hyperspace, you're going to head on over to hot space, and then there's going to be another gentleman for you to talk to. Make sure you probably are going to need your protocol droid as well. I'm not 100% positive on this one, but you should already have your protocol droid on the main uh, character for the ship anyway. Careful the asteroid belt. Head on over to this symbol right here, and you'll be able to talk to this X-Wing character. Not sure exactly what their name is, just Rebel Pilot. Okay, cool. But you've dropped off all the supplies, and that is done. Apparently, they ran straight into the asteroid, so they're dead. But Hoth and Bother Bothered is now complete, and you are done with all the stuff in Agent Klaus outside of just have to get that little uh, Kyber comment, and you have unlocked the Snow Trooper with this mission right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all we gotta do left on this planet is the Kyber Brick. Now, these are all universal, so look for that little symbol right there that I just showed you guys. Oh, I ran into the Kyber Brick comment. Destroy the Kyber Brick comment, and then you will get a full five Kyber Bricks added on to your listings. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, that is how to 100% Agent Klaus. All of the side missions, all of the puzzles, all of the trials, and that beautiful Kyber Brick Comet out in space have been completed, and now we have that big old beautiful, juicy 100% on Agent Klaus Destination Selection. If there's any plans you guys want to see right off the bat, whether it's your favorite plan of all time in Star Wars, or if it's a plan that you're having a little issue with with a side mission puzzle or trial, Feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be putting these out in alphabetical order, but I'm more than happy to throw out other planets a little earlier for you guys if it's something you guys want to see right off the bat. But as of right now, ladies and gents, that is everything for me in this video today. If you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. I did take a lot of time on working on this video, so I would highly appreciate it. As well as hit that subscribe button for more future content from the channel. We're going to be finishing out LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga. And I do have some plans for some streams later on in the future. As soon as I'm done 100 percent this. If you guys do wish to, I am possibly live right now as you're watching this video with more LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Or maybe some other game if this is a little bit further down into the future. But feel free to join the stream. And I'd love to talk to you guys. But that is it for me for right now, guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the future. Bye-bye.